Hey, what's up everyone? All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about uh, audio, car audio in the Bronco, more specifically subwoofers. So I'm a fan of having bass in my vehicle. Every car I've ever had had a good subwoofer uh, audio system, whether it's factory or aftermarket. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what I'm gonna be putting in, in this one. So what I have here is a Boss Audio uh, 10 inch subwoofer and amplifier uh, built into one. So I'm going this route obviously because I don't want to run a massive large enclosure which the Bronco does have space for but you know this is a camping rig and I have a lot of gear and I don't want to I don't want to fill this thing up with with a big enclosure so I was actually going to run this enclosure it's kind of dusty and a little bit old but this was a good one uh, this is a what is this a, 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 a JL audio W6 so this this is actually a really good sub and uh, enclosure combo right there this thing will probably knock really hard but it, it's just big and and I don't want to take up that space so I'm going with this route this should give me the sound that I want you know it's not gonna be you know super massive loud bass but it'll just give me that sound that I want and obviously this is the factory passenger bench bench seat and I'm gonna mount it underneath and so so far I've just peeled back the upholstery. It just kind of clips in with this, uh, this plastic deal right here. Uh, pulled it off this bar right there. Same right here. I just kind of, you know, unclipped it and peeled it back. And then, um, you know, this particular sub, um, uh, um, the dimensions and stuff, I'm making it work right here. So what I had to do is, you see I came in here, I kind of just notched a little piece so that the sub can sit more more flat and inside here and then um, I've just made some aluminum uh, tabs here they're not done you know they're not done yet but the idea is uh, I'm gonna bolt it right here to the frame and then tap this to receive you know a, a screw right in there so the sub should just be nicely mounted right here no big deal, you know, I can run all my wiring. Um, so if you own a Ford Bronco, you know that this bench is obviously removable relatively easy. Right up here, there's just uh, some pins and this thing obviously folds up and down inside the truck. So my idea, I am obviously not there yet, run all my wiring right to the pivot point, leave some slack so that I can obviously still move the seat and do what I need to do. And I may end up doing a quick release harness right inside here so that if I, for whatever reason, want to pull the bench out, you know, I don't gotta come to the amp and disconnect all my wires. It's just sometimes cleaner if you just have a quick disconnect plug. Um, but yeah, that's, that's later on. Uh, but yeah, I will show more as I, as I do more um, just kind of giving you guys uh, you know showing you guys what I'm doing showing some options uh, and it kind of just obviously personal preference on on sound quality and your overall goal with with your vehicle if you even own a Ford Bronco um, so yeah this is what I'm doing and uh, yeah I'll keep you guys posted so here we go Got the subwoofer mounted in, you know, solid, you can see, not going nowhere, should be fine. So before I get ahead of myself and start throwing it back in the truck for fitment, I'm just kind of going to show you uh, what ended up happening. So I got my aluminum tabs in, bolted in, bolted in right here, and then I just notched the plastic to fit around my, my bracket. Um, I'm about to bolt the seat belt back up um, and then yeah you just clip 
clip it right over the metal again. Um, right here, I added some I don't know, cable ties, I guess. So when I do run my my wiring, you know, I got somewhere to to feed it and zip tie it. Um, the factory upholstery will come come right here, as you can see. So it should be a nice clean install, you know. Bam, straight down. Uh, should be good. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. As you can see, I have the passenger seat put back in. Um, if you're not familiar, it's just a quick release pin right here and it comes right out. Um, so yeah, I did have to do some slight modifications. So this, this is where the seat comes down and latches into place, you know, right inside there. And what I had to do was lift this up. So all I did was put, uh, I stacked some washers underneath here to lift this up. And what that's allowing is this thing to obviously engage sooner because the amp right here will rest right on the floor. So it's a really tight fit, <laughs> but you know, these are kind of the things that happen when you're doing custom work. So see, no slamming, it's locked right into place, boom. Okay, there's a little bit of play, but you know, not, it's not too bad. I'm gonna go around to the front. Okay, I'm gonna have a flashlight. All right, uh, let's see if we can see underneath here. So it's kind of hard to tell. Let me see if I can get this just a little better. So as you can see, look how it just it just barely hits the floor, you know. Um. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. The upholstery is not too bad. I had to um, run these little self tappers with uh, with some rubber washers. Um, just to you know hold the upholstery better after I cut the plastic out this thing was you know kind of loose so I had to uh, you know secure it some kind of way and um, you know with my vehicle this bench it, it is somewhat temporary you know um, I eventually plan on you know fully outfitting this entire truck specifically for you know camping overlanding and all of that so probably a couple years down the line i'm going to remove the bench and have you know all this whole area outfitted strictly for overlanding and camping so but for now it uh i think it's going to work it's going to work just fine i still want the option to have extra passengers you know for whatever reason I don't really need to take it out just yet. I don't have enough gear even to put in the truck, so there's no point in removing it. Okay, so update on the subwoofer. Um, I'm running my power line. Um, right here I have my circuit breakers, and I just made an aluminum plate and just ran some self-tappers into the uh, air cleaner mount whatever the hell that thing is supposed to be and um got my power all the way up there uh, it's not connected yet so i need to cut it trim it so right here i found this little plate right there and um yeah so i'm gonna run the power right through there through the firewall uh, kind of convenient i don't know if that was supposed to be something on a different model or maybe it, the F 150, you know, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's perfect uh, entry point for the power going into the cab to hit the, the subwoofer and amplifier. What's up, guys? All right, so I'm going to do another update on the subwoofer installation. Um, I'm just at this park real fast, pulled over. So uh, I'm going to start with the wiring real quick. As you can see, I got my breakers. I have two. Um, 
One's gonna be for in the future, I'm gonna run some type of CB radio or ham radio, I'm not sure yet, but that's why I got two, two breakers right now. Uh, got everything, just ran all the way across to the battery. Real simple, you know, basic. Um, going through that plate right there into the firewall, goes into the cab. Um, everything's put back together, but I ran all my wiring down inside here, all through there, and it's reaching in the back. Check out the back now. So there it is. So I just have it coming all the way and I just loop it around the spring kind of got it zip tied and then uh, just run right here this is actually a ground I didn't have any uh, black wires so I just ran uh, more of this red power wire but it's doing the same thing but yeah so this is a ground ran all the way down to the amp um, yeah everything fits everything's fine and the sub sounds it sounds good it's not it's not like crazy crazy bass you know it, it completes the audio quality you know you have your highs your mids and the subwoofer is the low so it completes the sound you get a, that bass sound in the music but it's not it's not knocking hard it's not rattling windows and mirrors and it's not like sound competition stuff but it sounds good it sounds better than it did so I'm happy with it um, so yeah you know it's pretty clean it's pretty pretty straightforward I will leave a little link in the description if uh, anyone's interested in getting one I got it from Amazon appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video and um, we'll have more to come uh, I'll see you guys soon later